Welcome back to HMHT, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ben, your host, of course. It feels like I'm applying sanitizer yet. I don't know why I have an addiction to doing this, but either way, this watchOS 7.3 has been nothing short of amazing for me. So this is a new watch face that you are seeing here. And if we actually go into the about this watch section, you will be able to see the software version that came with this update. And as you can see here, it's watchOS 7.3 and the build number that we have on file with this update is 18S. 801 and despite some of the changes and new features that came with this update itself the little additions that they did implement it actually didn't take more space than what the previous version was taking i actually gained like 100 mbs from updating which is a good thing and the bug that had to do with the notification center whereby it was sometimes unresponsive has been solved now the reason why i sort of I am appreciating this update or praising it quite a lot is because of the optimization that came with it. The battery life has been super amazing for me. And if we actually go into the battery section, you'll be able to see that I last charged this watch to about almost full on last Wednesday. And two days later, I actually still have charge. Don't get me wrong, I'm actually a very busy person. I get like, I use my watch for alarms, for reminders. I use it to sleep, to wake up. I use it a lot. I use it to also give a like or a heart to some of the YouTube notifications and sometimes to reply to my WhatsApp messages or repost some tweets. So this is a very busy watch for me. And the fact that I was actually able to get like over two days of battery usage has sort of been amazing. And this is not something that happened like once. It's actually something that I'm seeing continuously with this watch away 7.3. I'm curious to know whether it's just like for the series six because this is a series six that you are seeing here i'll be curious to know whether the same is true for the se series five or series four just just out of curiosity if, if your watch is performing amazing on watch over 7.3 then please do by all means let me know in the comment section below i would like to see i mean if this is data that i'm sort of fascinated about I, I don't know why i enjoy such information but hey if you are please let me know down below it will be amazing now when it comes to like the battery health the maximum capacity for me i actually had like one drop from 100 to 97 and with this watch away 7.3 that actually hasn't changed so the metric responsible for the recalculation of the maximum battery health capacity so it fit to live at 97 percent so i guess there's no going up sometimes there's glitches in the system or updates whereby it sort of drops your maximum health and then that sort of affects your per battery performance you can also sort of tell how the system or the os is optimized but with this update it just goes to show that yes i'm getting good battery performance and i can no longer say that you know the drop that i had was a bug it just shows that the metric was sort of correct now granted this update didn't bring a ton of new faces or new features but you know we got a few and to mention a few we got a new watch face that you can sort of customize and there's quite a number of people that are actually telling me that i don't see the new watch face you know the new watch face that you're showing i don't see it on my watch and i've already updated my watch to watch away 7.3 and well the reason why you may perhaps not be seeing the new watch face is because your device isn't updated to the latest available ios version so if you have many iphones that you use to sync with your apple watch from time to time during the day just make sure that the one that is currently synchronized with your apple watch is on the latest ios version which is iOS 14.4. That case, you will get the watch face and you can always add it using the iPhone that is synced to your Apple Watch. And also with iOS 14.4, you sort of get a better security with the update as there were compromises before that were heavily exploited according to Apple. Sounds scary, but yeah either way ecg app has also been updated with this watch with 7.3 and basically the ecg app which is available on the series 4 and newer is available in more regions now and those include japan mayotte philippines and taiwan and irregular heart rates are now also supported within those regions or countries that i've mentioned now when it comes to performance as you can see this is my daily driver so i can sort of tell you how it's been performing for me and i'm actually not having any issues at all when it comes to performance been great 
and the only time i had like sort of slow connection or some frame drops is when playing pong sometimes it sort of drags behind or tends to synchronize a little bit slow that could be an issue with the app itself or the os and if you're an apple fitness plus subscriber you will actually get reminders and notification when it comes to time to walk it's something that you can always set up but you have to be an apple fitness plus subscriber in order to see this now Basically, it also fixes an issue whereby for workouts or the workout app was sort of delayed when it comes to giving notifications or updating the biometric data. Sometimes you do a workout, get improper readings or sometimes certain workout readings were not being reported and for this update those issues are finally resolved now basically it's been optimized for the better and security improvements are there within the background of this update and stability improvements too so if you haven't updated this is an update that you know i've been enjoying myself and other than that let me know how you are finding it whether you're going to be updating or not and that's about it for me if you like this video a like would be good but a sub would be better stay safe and i'll see you in the next video very soon uh, i think i'm about to take off this and make a macOS video see you in that one Peace.